Hey, good day, it's Dan here. I thought I'd do something a little different today and uh, get up out of the office. It's a gorgeous sunny day out there. I don't know if you can see that behind me. See if we can, uh, as you can see, the most of the snow is gone. It's all been melting the last week or so. But that's, I didn't want to <clears throat> bring you here to talk about the weather. I wanted to talk to you today about five simple ways that you can use to raise your energy. Now, I don't know if you're a little bit like me, uh, usually mid-afternoon is when I'm at a low point. I'm a morning person. I hop out of bed at 5.30 most days. Uh, quite often, before the alarm even goes off, I'm awake. And if not, I shut it off right away. Uh, you know, the second it clicks on, before the music even starts up, I'm up. And so... <clears throat> In the afternoon, I find my energy dips, and this weekend, I had the good fortune of being on a uh, live stream for a private mastermind that featured a bunch of six- and seven-figure earners in our industry, and they were all sharing their secrets of success, and they had a guest there who's a um, master NLP practitioner, neuro-linguistic programming, and he's also a, a hypnotherapist, and Quite often, he would start the segments with some tips on how to raise your energy because everything is energy and in the line of work that I'm in, in uh, blogging, in personal development, it's all about energy and attracting the right people to you. And if your energy is low, if you're a bit of an Eeyore and walk around with a dark cloud, you're repelling people. Whereas if you're high energy you're full of life, you're enthusiastic, people are going to be drawn to you naturally. You you want to kind of be the, the person that walks in a room and everybody turns to see who just walked in. That's the kind of energy you want to give off. So today I want to share with you some five simple tips that you can use to raise your energy. And the first one is what I started with here is I actually got up out of my chair in the office and I walked around. Just, just the motion of standing up is raising your energy. If you're sitting uh, hunched over your desk, that's a low energy posture. That's, that's uh, gonna bring you down. And, and you can measure your energy on a scale of positive 100, you know, you're on top of the world, negative 100, you're really down in the dumps. And when you're feeling low energy like that, one of the simple things you can do is just to stand up, to look up, just, just up. A focus on up will actually bring your energy up. It, it sounds crazy, it sounds super simple, and it is. Just something as simple as standing up or looking up will raise your energy. Now, it's not going to do much for you, so I want to give you a few more ideas. I'm just going to set this phone down here for a second and show you what other tips I got for you. So one of the ways... Oh, you. Still there? So one of the ways I start my day every day, actually, every weekday morning I get up in the morning and I pull out my trusty skip rope and I skip. And I do that for a couple minutes in the morning. Now I'm better than what I just demonstrated here. If you want to see me do it, I'll keep going. And if you go faster, your heart rate gets up and it raises your energy. And I do that first thing in the morning. That I come downstairs, I get a glass of water, and I skip rope for a few minutes. And it gets the blood flowing, gives me a little exercise, gets the heart pumping, gives me energy. So that's three. Number four, and you're going to laugh at this one, and that's part of the benefit, is laughing is actually good for raising your energy. But if you happen to have one of these, a hula hoop, hula hooping for a couple minutes will raise your energy. Yes, I'm still doing it. The camera's not picking it up, but it's there. And if you do that for a couple minutes, your energy will, will jump in a big way as well. Now I sound like I'm out of breath, sorry about that. But uh, I wanted to demonstrate, show you that I can actually do it. Now maybe you don't have a little girl at home that has a hula hoop, but I'll bet you've got a Toys R Us or a store 
toy store you could go to or sporting goods store that you could go to and you could pick one up and uh, cost you a few bucks but if you did that when you're feeling low I'll bet your energy will raise up so number four now this one actually I'm gonna put the camera back down because you got to see this one this one uh, certainly is a state changer and it seems crazy and outrageous and sometimes you got to do crazy and outrageous things to snap you out of your your blues out of your out of your negative state and this one he called the wet dog and for any of us who've had a dog in the past you know what a dog does when it comes out of the water if it's been at the lake or in the ocean or in a river or out under the sprinkler it shakes it off so here's what we're gonna do for 15 seconds we're gonna shake like a wet dog are you ready do it with me because it's a ton of fun and you gotta make the noise that goes with it shake your jowls shake it out Woo! I know I look like a fool but I feel much better my energy's up you probably see some color in my cheeks I'm having fun and finally, I'll share with you the last one. And this is, a, this is a powerful exercise. I'm gonna head back into the office here so I can do this for you on the computer. But another thing you can do to raise your state is to play music. And whatever music happens to resonate with you, but this is a song that was played on the weekend quite a bit. And it's powerful. There's not much for lyrics. But it's the kind of music that gets you pumped up. And this is a great one to do when you're doing affirmations or proclamations in front of your vision board. This kind of music, it, it, it just, it really draws out the enthusiasm. It's got a real powerful sound to it. And it's kind of quiet right now. I'm going to give you a second so you can hear this. Hopefully you're picking up the music in the background. But music is a great way to raise your vibration, especially powerful music. Now, if this isn't your style, pick a song that you love to sing along with and crank it and sing. And get out there and, and just have a great time. Because there's no value in being in low energy. It's hard to operate in low energy. It's hard to get things done in low energy. You want to raise your state. And so I hope those five methods for raising your energy, changing your mood, were helpful to you. And I look forward to uh, hearing about your, your, the fun you're having with your hula hoop and your skipping rope and shaking like a dog. Send me a video. I'd love to see your own example of that. And uh, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye for now.